All right, when the sun shines and it's a little bit warmer today, let's be honest, is a really bad example. Terrible example, yes. It is time to try some uh, new spring trends. It is, and we're not talking clothing. Today we're covering hair, makeup, and nails. And here to show us from Minnesota School of Cosmetology, instructor Donna Dungy is here with us today. Hi, Donna. Hello, lady. Nice to meet you and all your gold. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to come today. Multi-color, too. This is that called must mood be a... polish. Oh, my oh. gosh. This is a new, also a new look that's out today. Look so at that. Covers just everything, A little of huh? everything. I love it. Colors all over the place. I love this, how you've broken up the trends, because you have them for, you know, maybe if you just want to dip your toe into a little bit, or if you want to go a little more aggressive with trying out the trends, exactly, right? Exactly, my friend. So, today we have a fabulous model, Miss Araceli. Okay, so we're going to start with hair. Let's bring her on out. And Miss Araceli. Araceli is a fabulous, beautiful model, as you can see. And today our emphasis is on her flower, yeah. a very simplistic, messy braid or bun with a, a flower accent is what we're emphasizing today. So if you're on a budget, ladies, and you still want this look, you can go to Joanne Fabrics, get you the flowers. They already have the clips in them. And then pin that in that little messy bun oh and give gosh. this very elegant, classy, attractive look. So the flower in the hair, I mean, that's the trend, obviously, along with the braids. Yes, ma'am. Is there Are there any flowers that work better than others? I mean, this one has like a big pop of a bloom, and I love how it's just one color, too. Well, and right now, for women, just a little something. They're women on the go, and they don't have a lot of time, but they want that little pop of color to stand out. So it's depending on what you're trying to create with your look. If you're trying to create something bright and bold, then you use a bigger flower. If you're using for something small, you use a smaller flower. And I like the way that you take almost like a messy, easy, yes, uh, yeah. it looks like you just kind of did your hair quickly, but then threw the, the flower in flower and really right takes in it over there, the top. Flipped it in. Yeah, I it love doesn't it. look overdone at all. Exactly. Okay, so let's see if you just want to maybe not do the flower, but you're looking for still to embrace that braid trend. Let's bring out uh, Diane. Well, Miss Diane, this fabulous, young, beautiful, style person. <laughs> I want a model for you. She's you are very sporting a fabulous braid daughter turned to the side. <laughs> the traditional three strand is usually what you would use to create this look. But today we're using two strands. You take two strands of hair, crisscross them uh, across from each other, and then wrap it into a bun, and here you go. Okay, so you're not even having to deal with the braid. You're not yeah, three to five gathering minutes. gathering more hair as you go? You just, that how it you works? just take like two pieces of hair and crisscross them and keep crisscrossing to have oh, no more hair left, easy. and then wrap it up into a bun, and here you are. And so this one, if you're trying to do it yourself, you think this one's a little bit easier than oh, doing the this whole is definitely, yourself? this is definitely very easy. And she could put a flower in there. She could also yeah. put a flower in there oh, if yes. she wanted to do something just to add. But as you see, she has beautiful hair. Uh, textures in right now, natural hair is very popular, the look. So you're not putting a whole lot of chemicals, but you're doing something as soft and easy as a braid and still right. get a very classy, you know, look. Well, very pretty. Thank you so much, Diane. Looking lovely. Okay, Thank let's you, talk makeup. So Makeup. the trend, the less is more trend, less is, is what more. Nicole is showing us here. And she is a natural beauty, as you can see. And she's sporting with metallic uh, blushes, pinks, and uh, peaches. Yeah, this is With great. a nude uh, lip color. Just something very natural, but very classy as well. Her features look fabulous with that makeup. Okay, now the question is with the nude, the nude lips. Who can do that? I mean, what and what kind of shade are you looking for? Well, it, it does look at your, your skin tone. Yeah. So you want to look at that a little bit. You don't want to do anything too over dramatic. She just wants to give something, just a little bit of color on her lips and on her cheeks, a little bit of blush. You don't have to go crazy. You're a mother of three kids. Mm -hmm. You don't have time, but you still yeah. want to look good for your husband. And I like that she has a little shimmer in the blush. Yes, I think it just adds a little bit of like sheen and yes, brightness to the face. Just a little, a little bit of metallic uh, along the cheekbone Looks and great. along the eye area. And then look what how beautiful it looks on her. Love that. Stunning. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Miss Nicole. Okay, so Tiara is showing us the ombre lip and the fuller eyebrow. Now a lot of us know the ombre from the hair, right? It's yes. the change of the yes, hair color. That's exactly what's and going on. And we're doing it on the lip. We are. We've transitioned that ombre look from the hair to the lips. And what you're doing is you're taking two colors similar in shade and totality, and then you're putting it on the lips. And don't her lips look luscious? Mm -hmm. Just a little pop of color enough to get the husband to notice. <laughs> <laughs> Mac them up. Oh, and then Mac the bold up. brow is in right now. Uh, we're not doing so much on the really thin, narrow, yeah. as much as we're doing a little bit more fuller. Brooke you can Shields. draw them in. Amen. <laughs> and look how wonderful they look on her. So drawing them in, 
is it can be a little bit tricky for people. It can. You can either use uh, a pencil or you can use powder mm -hmm. and you can powder and tap that in there if that's something or you can come to Minnesota School and we'll train you how to do it. Yeah, see that's I think having someone show you how to do that is yes. really One of my tricks is an old toothbrush to just kind of feather it out when I'm done nice. so it doesn't nice. look completely done. Yes, but yes. I don't know it looks very, everybody. very soft. Thank you, Tierra. Thank you Thank very you, much. Thank you, Tierra. Lovely. And now let's talk about the nails. Our fantastic model, Miss Jamie, right here. She's got one hand that is strictly wild and crazy just to catch the eye. You can see the flower. And this is by a talented student in our school. How fantastic. You have a bow on that nail? She does. Wow. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, my gosh. These ladies are very, and gentlemen, are very talented. Her other hand is a uh, neutral, mother-on-the-go type of look. Uh -huh. Now, mothers can create it with, with uh, glitter polish and then a nude uh, natural polish color. Okay, on that's the top. a fun way to get into the glitter. If you yes, feel like is. a little unsure about it, you do the nude first. You do the nude first and give yourself a starting point just to see how you like it yeah. and then take it to the next direction. Looking and it's good. it's like the French tip but reverse. It is. The fancies on the it top is my and sister. Not on the Thanks, hand model Jamie. You Thank look you, Miss Jamie. Thank, Thank you, Donna. Thank you, my nice sister, job. for having us over fun. today. Well. We appreciate the opportunity to show the next generation of cosmetologists coming out oh, of the school. They so are beautiful. Fun. And all those girls were students. So yes, we're going to have the list of these trends on our website, TwinCitiesLive.com under fashion. But if you want someone to do it for you, like Donna mentioned, just go to Minnesota School of Cosmetology. We're going to have their contact info on our website so you can set up an appointment. We want to thank the Minnesota School of Cosmetology for sponsoring Twin